Um, we talked about metadata uh, in this group. We talked about metadata with Snowden. He makes a larger point here about the information haystack and about why, in his view, uh, big intelligence gathering doesn't work. I'll play for you now that exchange. I really meant to. I take the threat of terrorism seriously, uh, and I think we all do. And I think it's really disingenuous for, for the government to invoke uh, and sort of scandalize our memories, to sort of exploit the, the national trauma that we all suffered together and worked so hard to come through to justify programs that have never been shown to keep us safe, but cost us liberties and freedoms that we don't need to give up, and our Constitution says we should not give up. But you can see how it happened. Guys with box cutters spent 200 bucks using our own aviation system to take down our own buildings and smash into the Pentagon in a field in Pennsylvania. What are we going to do? It's a, it's a non-traditional enemy. The expression is an enemy we can't see. What are we going to do? You know, and this is a, this is a key question that the 9-11 Commission considered. And what they found in the postmortem, when they looked at all of the classified intelligence from all of the different intelligence agencies, they found that we had all of the information we needed as an intelligence community, uh, as a classified sector, as the national defense of the United States, to detect this plot. We actually had records of the phone calls from the United States and out. The CIA knew who these guys were. The problem was not that we weren't collecting information. Uh, it wasn't that we didn't have enough dots. It wasn't that we didn't have a haystack. It was that we did not understand the haystack that we have. The problem with mass surveillance is that we're piling more hay on a haystack we already don't understand. And this is the haystack of the human lives of every American citizen in our country. If these programs aren't keeping us safe and they're making us miss connections, vital connections, on information we already have. If we're taking resources away from traditional methods of investigation, from law enforcement operations that we know work, if we're missing things like the Boston Marathon bombings, where all of these mass surveillance systems, every domestic dragnet in the world didn't reveal guys that the Russian intelligence service told us about by name, is that really the best way to protect our country? Or are we, are we trying to throw money at a magic solution that's actually not just costing us our safety, but our rights and our way of life?